Hello everyone, Jack here, and welcome to a new series I'd like to call Is It Worth Your Time? Where we take a look at new Simpsons episodes and see if they're good or if they belong in the trash. So we're going to start with Season 32, Episode 1, Undercover Burns. And this is a parody of the show Undercover Boss. You know the one where they have bosses of large corporations go undercover and see how their employees work. And basically this is just to garner sympathy for basically bosses. Because if you really think about it, they basically give a prize at the end of every episode to basically one or two employees. But really, what about the other thousands of people that work for those companies? Are their lives improved? Are they? So, it starts with Mr. Burns having a take your kids to work day carnival at the nuclear power plant. But it turns out just to be a ruse as he turns it into take your kids to work day. So he has them fit in tiny places with their hands to basically dig out stuff. Well, there's only one smart child that's able to avoid him, Lisa. So when Lisa goes to confront Burns, Mr. Burns basically thinks it's accountability, so he goes and hides in the men's restroom. Which doesn't scare Lisa, until it does. So what Burns does is he actually starts reading the bathroom tabloids, or as he calls them, cave drawings. And he sees what his employees really think about him. They hate him. So this leads Mr. Burns to try and get revenge on his employees. Because he thought that he was loved, but he's not. So under the suggestion of Smithers, he becomes an undercover employee called Fred with it's basically he's in a giant Iron Man suit. That's kind of the joke. Well, he garners the friendship of Homer, Lenny, and Carl, even though he's completely transparent, but don't worry, those three are idiots in this episode. And Burns even says, those idiots like me for me, Fred Cranepool. And so he basically starts to see things from their point of view instead of his own. And Smithers, surprise, surprise, gets jealous. And he wants the old Burns back. So I, this is a good take. It reminds me a lot of the episode Monty Can't Buy Me Love with the setup. The setup's kind of similar, but with hundreds and hundreds of episodes, you're going to need to basically use, recycle some plot points. The important part is where do they go with it, and they take it this in another different direction, which is good. That's always a good sign. So with basically Burns, he's he doesn't understand how his employees think about him because he's just surrounded by people like Smithers who are sympathetic and they kiss his ass all the time. So he's basically shocked. And remember, he's senile, so if he's been through this before, <laughs> we could just chalk it up to senility. And at the end of the episode, one of the quotes that he says that stand out to me is, Why can't I be loved and feared, like God? But Mr. Burns is just a mere mortal like us, and he can't be both. One of the downsides I basically say for the episode is that it's been 32 years and some of the voices don't sound as crisp. Julie Kavner's Marge is basically, that's a hard voice, and it's kind of fallen off a cliff over the years. Burns and Smithers, they don't sound that crisp either, and there are moments when I hear Bart. He doesn't sound like the usual Bart. But, like I said before, 32 years is a long time to do a voice, and basically, the quality can deteriorate over time. So on a scale from worst episode ever to exceptional viewing, I would consider this a solid episode. It is definitely worth your time. Consider watching it. All right, so those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Jack out. Hello there, Simpsons fans. Jack here. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Comment below to let me know what you thought about the video. And always, have a nice day.